Hey everybody and welcome back for another video. Alright, on today's video we're going to resume building on the chicken brooder. Alright, this is a chicken brooder now. We're going into our third episode of construction on it and it's coming along very nicely and quickly. So hopefully that trend continues and we get a lot of work done today. But we know we had a little break in between. We had two episodes where we did some work on this and then I had a couple where I had to work on the swing set and then I had to work on a little nesting box for the rabbits and speaking of the rabbits I got an update for you already alright we made that nesting box and the very night that we made it thankfully it got used alright up in that coop now we've had some new arrivals and I'm gonna bring you guys up and show you what has transpired Alright, as of last video, I was quite hesitant on what was going to happen. We got Smokey, which is a new doe, very young doe, and as far as I had read and watched online, I didn't have high expectations in terms of survivability or any of that. And, uh, and we're still being very cautiously optimistic about this as well. Okay, this doe is a new mother, but uh, let's just get up there and I'll show you what we found this morning when we went out to check on the bunnies. Alright, so another beautiful, very humid, hot day. And we are going to let ourselves into the coop here now. And I'll show you what's up. Alright, first of all, we got our <laughs> two does. One missing right now, probably underground. I tell you, these does love to burrow especially oh no here she is there is milky and there's hot chocolate but that's not what we're here to see is it all right let's come on up there's our rabbit coop hallway and look right here here's the star of the show in our middle one of our middle grow out cages Hello, Smokey. You got something to show us? Hey, you got something to show us? Let's see how well behaved she is. That's a good bunny. That's a good bunny. Are you guys feeling the suspense yet? Look at this. Alright, we got some remnants of something here. Let's have a look. You guys see the fur moving? See the hay moving in the back? Alright, let's, let's take this forward. All right, Smokey. All right. All right. All right. Let's see what we got. Look at that. Look what we got in here. Oh, we're getting foggy. It's so warm and humid in here. Here we go, 
seven new baby bunnies in our nesting box. Let's get them covered back up. Smokey seems to be a really good mom so far as far as covering the babies up with her fur. Let's put the nesting box back in the corner. Gently. All right. Thank you, Smokey. Thanks for letting us see your babies. All right, so we got lots of feed for Mama for making milk and lots of water. So she's good to go. Let's close it up. So there we are, folks. There is new mama with seven new babies. So hopefully everything goes to plan and she figures out how to feed them properly. Like I said before, as of now, nature is in control. Nature has the wheel. All right, we've done everything we can, given her a good environment, food, water, nesting box, and uh, from here on out, it's up to nature to take its course and raise these babies right, and we will be here to enjoy every minute of it. So, there you go. Hopefully it goes well. And just like that, we're back here in the garage. Hopefully you enjoy that little tour of the rabbit coop and our new little baby bunnies. All right, hopefully Smokey is going to be a good mom to the baby bunnies. It is her first go around and first time having kits. So hopefully she does well with feeding them and all that good stuff. And like I said, it's in nature's hands now at this point in time. So we're going to have the hope that uh, she does well with it. Seven new baby bunnies. All right, we went from seven baby bunnies or seven bunnies in general to 14 overnight. We doubled our bunny count just by smoking having our babies. So pretty exciting stuff. Kids are loving it and it's going to be fun to uh, hopefully see these bunnies grow up and play with them and all that fun stuff, you know. So uh, we'll see how it goes and we'll update you as possible along the way. But as for the rest of this video now, uh, I wanted to get a little bit of work done on the brooder and in particular I wanted to try and put up a bit of plywood on the inside walls. That's kind of my main goal for this one and then next video we'll have another big uh, shot of task to do with the, with the brooder as well. So, But as far as today I really wanted to show you our surprise with the bunnies and uh, our new arrivals. And as a little side piece now, we'll get uh, some work done on the brooder as well. So I think we can get some inside walls done would be ideal. That's a good goal to have. So we'll get those uh, measured up, cut, and screwed on, and we should be ready to rock. So uh, let's go ahead and take some inside wall measurements. And I also have a specific order that I want to do the inside walls. And I'll probably explain that now while we're taking the measurements. Alrighty, so when it comes to doing these side walls now, there is a spot just down off camera that goes in under the clean out door. And so I'm going to need this little tiny tail of plywood to go down and cover those walls as well. And that's one of the reasons I want to do the side walls first, so I can make sure that my measurements are just so that it covers that area. And then my two end walls will then go down between my side walls and kind of press them outwards and hold them in place that much better. And uh, so that's why I do have a certain uh, order that I'm looking to do this. But if I were to do the end walls first and then the side walls, I'm sure there wouldn't be a huge difference. It's just right now, the way I'm looking at things, I would prefer to do the side walls first. So the height of my side walls, this one in particular anyways, is going to be 26 inches or 25 and 3 quarters actually 25 and 3 quarters now 25 and 3 quarters goes all the way up here 
I may not actually go all the way up here to be honest. I may stop at this sill here that I've sealed to. And that is 24 inches. So I think that's probably the better way that I'm going to go. And I'll just seal up to this level here. The rest of it is pretty much considered part of the lid. So then 24 inches by 45. All right. So 45 end to end. And then I'm going to have another inch and three quarters length to cover out the uh, clean out door as well. All right, so I'm going to grab some plywood, get those measurements traced out, and we'll start cutting, and we'll see how our first piece fits in. So let's get our measurements now put down onto the wood. And again, I'm going to start with my factory edge for good measuring. Okay, so we're looking at two feet in height. So let's get our two feet in height cut and then we'll work on our length. Now when it comes to my length, I've done out 46 and 3 quarters will give me a full um, tail end that goes out the clean out door as well. So I'm just going to do a full length cut first and then I'm going to do another cut where I trace out the bit uh, that remains. So hopefully you understood that because I don't even know if I understood it myself. But basically I'm just going to leave everything intact for this little wedge that will go out to clean it door. So first cut is going to be at 46 and 3 quarters which doesn't leave very much. And the next one will be at 44 and 3 quarters. And we'll get that cut. Alright, so our wedge, I'll call it, that sticks out to the clean out door is going to be 4 inches high, like we designed uh, with our clean out door, and it's going to come back 2 inches. Alright, so we'll square that off, and we're going to cut out everything other than that. So we're keeping this part, and then we're going to go two inches on up the whole way. There we are. Let's so now go ahead and make that cut. So there's our first piece. Let's uh, take it over, try it out, and see if it fits. All right, so if we measure properly, we should hopefully get a fit here. We'll see. I got one screw in my way there. Should be able to get by that. Looks good. I like the fit. I like the finish. The only thing that's left to do, I need to trace out the window. So 
I'm just going to get the plastic out of there so that I can actually trace that from the side that I'm on. side window traced out and I'm gonna get on the uh, jigsaw there now and we'll get that cut out. So I'll start off with a little plunge cut just to give me an opening. Actually the plunge cut's pretty good so I'm just gonna continue with that for a sec a second cut. screwed in place. Alrighty, so let's get the working area ready again because we are about to do a carbon copy of what we just did. So let's, uh, let's get this marked out. So again, it's going to be two feet high. We're going to start from our factory edge again. I always manage to put the factory edge away from me, I think. Anyways, we're going to do a two foot high wall. And all of our other measurements are going to be the same again as well. Alright, let's get this one cut. Okay, that's our two feet. And then I'll do the four inch wedge over here. Right, two inches in. Four inches up. Maybe I'll just do two inches in all line. Have that done this time. And four inches right there. Square that off. So I'm removing that bit right there.
Let's get this window cut out and we'll have our two sidewalls pretty much done other than attaching this one. Alrighty folks, I think I'm going to have to call it there, unfortunately. Uh, as you can see, the sun on the brooder there now. The sun is low in the sky. It's late in the evening. That took a little more time than I had bargained for, and I was probably a little over ambitious as per usual. So, we're going to end it there. I think this is a pretty good uh, video update on the baby bunnies. A little bit of progress made on the brooder. But I think next time now we'll be able to go a little bit harder at this, get those last two inside walls done, and then we'll see what else we need to do from there. I'm thinking maybe we'll get the base built, but anything is possible. But let's call it there for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit shorter than usual. Uh, maybe it's a bit easier for you to digest something a little bit smaller uh, in this kind of length anyways. But uh, I don't want to you know, take away the amount of content. This was just running out of time and uh, you know I want to hang out with the family for a little bit more before they go to bed and maybe you know have some kind of late supper as well so with all that said we'll catch you in the next video and until that happens hope you're happy hope you're healthy take care of each other and peace out